Okay, here I have a Cub Cadet 524 SWE snowblower. And uh, as you can see on the front here, I have put two wheels, extra wheels on it, uh, because I have a gravel driveway. And I used to pick up a lot of stones, but with these wheels on the front, uh, I don't pick up any stones anymore. Uh, today's problem is this uh, starter switch. Uh, you can see the starter here, the starter motor, and uh, this is some kind of momentary switch where you push it down, it gives electricity to start the engine, and then uh, when you let go, the starter stops. It's already started, and the starter stops there. So uh, one problem I had with it was the ground pin, you could see it, was broken off. The second problem was, uh, this is how most of them look uh, when you buy them. You know, yours would probably look this way. And uh, it's all cracked, it fell apart. Uh, so I'm going to try to figure out some way... Uh, maybe bolt a box to this tank here with these two bolts to the gas tank bolts and uh, otherwise I've already tried it like this I've started it it works it's just these this cover is broke here is broken off it just cracked with the cold so the starter actually works it's just the switch cover that's broken so uh, let's see, I looked on eBay, and let's see what they cost. Uh, the switch is not sold. Uh, the, this uh, switch part here is not sold separately. You have to buy the whole starter. So, oh, look, it's only $198. <laughs> well, you know, I ain't going to buy that. I don't have that kind of money, so forget that. So what I've done here so far is I took a bracket I found at Home Depot by the lumber and it's a big L bracket here. It's about six inches long and I mounted an electrical box to it and then this angle bracket is using the two bolts that go to hold the gas tank. So what I did is I mounted the box a little bit away from this to allow for the the bolts and then I put the bracket on and then I drilled holes in the bottom of the junction box and put some bolts and nuts in there and uh, over here I took the oscillating tool and I cut a about a half inch groove in there and then this cord relief fits in there perfect so that's how what I'm what I've done so far over here. Uh, this is broken, so I'm going to change this part here. The switch works fine, and of course the the starter under here work works fine. Okay, so um, the actual switch I got lucky. There was. Uh, two holes in the switch already so I just screwed it down to the box this black which is the hot wire coming out was too short so I put a longer piece I put um, a fork uh, bit on it and then some heat shrink and then now it's nice and long uh, I had a bunch of wire left over here, but I didn't have a green wire, so for the ground I've got a yellow wire, and the neutral I got a white wire here coming out. So next thing will be to cut a slot for this switch into the junction box cover, and to put the outlet in this area right here.
All right, so um, I've mounted the switch. I've got my extra wires coming out, and I put one of these uh, receptacles that are uh, ten bucks at Home Depot. Um, I just got to connect the ground and the white neutral wire. That's all that's left, and then we'll see how it looks. Well, I got it all finished and put together, uh, and this box here makes a waterproof seal on top there. It's cut here, but I figure that's the bottom anyhow. Uh, here's the switch to start it, and here's where you plug in your extension cord. Uh, so let's see if it works. Okay, I'll put the choke on.